Hundreds of residents, including young and old, from the Enyenesin community on Tuesday morning gathered at the Akim Tafu Magistrate Court for the sentencing hearing of the 11 accused persons who were arrested for the attack of a teacher of the Enyenesin Methodist School. Some of the accused persons shed tears when the case was called for sentencing by the court before giving out the ruling asked the accused persons if they had anything to tell the court where they all again pleaded the court to temper justice with mercy. Her Worship, Josephine Echa Jamna sentenced the accused persons to pay a fine of 150 penalty units or in default imprisonment for three months with hard labor. The third and seventh accused persons, Mafo Albert and Amwaku Prince, were charged with three counts for conspiracy to commit crime to wit threat of harm, being on the premises for unlawful purposes. They were sentenced to pay a fine of 150 penalty units each on first and second count and fine 200 penalty units on count three or in default three months imprisonment, which will run concurrently. 45-year-old Kwesi Jane Tudakwa, the drug seller, who was charged for the possession of restricted drug without lawful authority, was sentenced to pay a fine of 250 penalty units or in default three months imprisonment with hard labor. The court referred the accused persons, 8 and 9, 17-year-old Anno Benjamin and 17-year-old Tibua Adu Samuel, to the juvenile hearing and asked the Social Welfare Department to provide a report on both accused persons for sentencing on 23rd August 2022. The court presided over by Her Worship Josephine Echa Jamana took into consideration the youthful age of the accused persons and the fact that the accused persons were all first-time offenders. She wanted the ruling on the case to serve as a deterrent for other members of the community before passing her judgment. Speaking to City News, the Abuakwa North Municipal Chief Executive, Ahaji Omar Budinga, welcomed the ruling by the court and said that the corporates will now become ambassadors of good deeds. He added that it will deter other members of the community to refrain from such unlawful act. I think let's recommend a judge. By virtue of how she took a speed judgment, you can see the first day when we came, she said she's going to pronounce the judgment today, and it has served a deterrent to the, the offenders. You can see how the remorse, the remorse they have shown, and even some of them, I think, by virtue of this, they are going. They will be the ones who. Will Organize the group and tell them really there's something we call law in Ghana, and definitely they are not going to violate it. And I'm sure a lot of the youths also will join them to be a good ambassador for the future youths to have a good behavior. The Abuakwa North Education Directorate believes the teachers will now be able to carry out their work in peace. Maxwell Wusu speaks for the Education Directorate in the Abuakwa North Municipality. As we speak, the teachers are in good, I mean, in safe uh, mind. More importantly, now that the case has been brought to an end, I remember last week when we had a stakeholders engagement at the uh, Chief's Palace, we had assurances from Nananom, the opinion leaders in the community, the Honorable Assembly member, that they were ensure that they protect all the teachers in the community. Not only teachers in the nursing method of junior high school, no, but we have other schools. We have the private school, we have the uh, Methodist primary and KG, we also have the MA junior high school. So we had that assurance from them that they keep our teachers in the community in a very safe environment for us. And we are happy, our teachers are also happy. That means they can go back and then work in peace. Maxwell Wusu added that processes had begun for the traumatized teacher to be transferred to a school in the municipal capital. Like we said at that time, for him, he must lead the community. Because I remember on that day, that director met with the opinion leaders. He told them point blank that there's no way that man will be left uh, in the community. So for him, once we vacate, he will start his uh, reposting processes. And uh, he want to be closer to uh, one of the schools in our uh, municipality. Therefore, you know, saying, no, because of the trauma. I mean, he's going down, begging to these young, young boys, and then that trauma that he passed through that night. I mean, we don't want him to stay in the community for him to be more traumatized. So for him, once school reopens, he will get his letter and then we can come and us here. Opinion leaders in the area have raised concerns over the lack of a police station in the area, a situation which they believe was contributing to lawlessness in the community.
Ahaji Omar Budinga is equally worried and has called on the Ministry of Interior to assist the municipality in that regard. As the police district, it has expanded to even Frontier Park South. Um, Bososo is part of the jurisdiction of the police here. Our total police strength is just 45. 45, which is inadequate. There's an assessment formed by the government of the day, which we call the dashboard. I have put upon that and I also tell them we, are, we need, in, and the police are inadequate. We need another additional to that. So however, as we are here, I'm sure speaking with you, the Minister of Interior and the IGP are listening. So we beg them to just post some policemen here so to augment the security in the municipality. Some relatives of accused persons uh, who have just been fined uh, are making a frantic effort to gather uh, the monies so that uh, they can be released. Now, those who have been able to settle uh, the court fine uh, have re reunited with their family members and they are hoping not to go back to their bad behaviors again. For City News, Neoni Amati Kanako, Atim Tafu Court.